Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to the next lecture, Advanced Computer Architecture. <coughs> Today our topic is error processing. And uh, here is we'll talk about software terrorism and hardware terrorism. <coughs> okay. Uh, today we will cover uh, as usual. We have three lectures. So in lecture one, uh, we will talk about software and hardware terrorism. Terrorism. <coughs> And in second lecture, we will talk about multi-processing and uh, multi-threading. And in the third uh, lecture, we will uh, talk about logic, <coughs> digital logic, including uh, different types of logic. Okay, yes. uh, this is a uh, quick recap of previous lectures. <coughs> we. Uh, talk about uh, one in one architecture and its uh, other alternative architectures uh, and we uh, have studied about uh, cache coherence uh, in which multiple processes <coughs> uh, are executed in parallel and each process each processor have its own cache so the data among different cache is uh, typically suffered with data in uh, this is the issue which is called uh, cache coherence and then we uh, studied different uh, writing algorithms to handle these issues so the cache coherence which we have covered in the last lecture is very very important <coughs> Okay, today we will uh, uh, we are talking about parallel processing. <coughs> what is uh, parallel processing? Executing more than one task at the same time to uh, uh, improve the efficiency is called parallel processing. Why we do more than one process at the same time? <coughs> or more than one task or more than one thread at the same time? In order to improve efficiency, because if uh, so, what is the opposite of parallel processing is sequential. Sequential means you do process one or task one, then do task two, then do task three, and so on. So, for this is called sequential processing, which is very much time consuming. So, the uh, efficient one is parallel processing in which more than one process such as process one process two and process through three execute in parallel at, at the same time <coughs> so it's improve efficiency or improve speed of execution do more work in less time and reduce cost of work so these are the advantages of parallel process <coughs> So how to uh, implement parallel processing? So there are two methods. One is to, through hardware. If you have some good hardware and uh, you organize them, uh, and for parallel processing is called a hardware parallelism. And if you have limited hardware, but you uh, do some computer programming to achieve federalism through programming is called software <coughs> federalism so we will uh, further explain these two parallelism with the help of examples in the next few slides okay this is some theoretical uh, statements about Hardware parallelism. This refers to types of parallelism defined by machine architecture and hardware multiplicity. Hardware parallelism is a function <coughs> cost of performance trade off. It displays resource utilization patterns simultaneously in each operation. Okay, so uh, the main uh, concept is hardware uh, parallelism is achieved through hardware architecture. 
and its multiplicity. For, for example, uh, some processor like three issue processor. The word three issue means it can perform three uh, different types of tasks at the same time. Uh, this is the name of this processor. This is an example. It can process three issue at the same time. So this is such type of hardware. If we have good hardware, the hardware itself perform more than one task at the same time. <coughs> the second one is software. Sometimes if we don't have some good hardware, we still can uh, achieve uh, the terrorism through software. It depends the controls up and flow of data in a program. So we can control the hardware using computer programming to achieve the fairer processing. So such type of fair processing is called software terrorism. <coughs> For example, this is a process uh, here. We have two process A and uh, another operation uh, is B. This is product of L1 and L2 and a product of L3 and L4 are added in first instruction and in such second uh, operation the two products are separated with each other. <coughs> so in sequential order, if we perform, it's just it will start from here and first process A will complete and then process B will complete. But in feral processing, we have two options. The first one is software feralism. So how uh, can it be done? <coughs> For example, uh, we suppose that we have only one processor. So, in cycle 1, load operation L1 is loaded, L2 is loaded, L3 is loaded, and L4 is loaded. So, these four load operations are uh, done in the same cycle in parallel. Then, in the next cycle, <coughs> here you can see the L1 and L2 are multiplied with each other. <coughs> These X1 and X2 are the products. So L1 and L2 are multiplied with each other. At the same time, we have another multiplication operation. L3 and L4 both are multiplied. So this cycle also have two operations. And the third <coughs> cycle here L1 multiplied by L4 uh, is added with L3 multiplied by L4 here. And at the same time, L1 and L4 minus L3 multiplied by L4 is also done here. So all these eight operations you can count here. Four, four operation here, two here, and two here. So Total eight operations are executed in just three cycles. So eight, sorry, total eight operations, eight instructions are executed in three cycles. So eight divided by three is equal to two point six three, which is the uh, average parallelism for this example. Two point six three here it is calculated. Now in the next slide we, so this is what, we have same processor, there is no multiple processor, but using uh, computer programming, we can uh, arrange this to uh, be done in this uh, sequence in parallel, in this method, so this is a, a type of uh, software uh, parallelism. In the next example you can see the hardware parallelism. So this is this was software parallelism. Here is the hardware.
capitalism here this one is hardware capitalism okay so here you can see that uh, okay in this example we have supposed uh, two issue uh, processor uh, two issue matlab i mean uh, two operation at the same time <coughs> okay so in the past cycle but the two issue means uh, this processor uh, for hardware uh, this hardware sub processor means hardware this cpu or this processor can do multiple processing to one load and one arithmetic at the same time okay but not to load at the same time it just can can do one load and uh, one arithmetic arithmetic mean plus minus multiplication etc and load mean uh, just storing uh, uh, and operate so in first cycle l1 is loaded and in second cycle l2 is loaded both have different cycle because the given hardware uh, cannot do the load operation at the same time and the next third cycle l1 is loaded sorry l3 is loaded and at the same time l1 and l2 are also multiplied with each other so one multiplication and one load operation has been done here with in the same cycle in the fourth cycle again there is l4 is loaded but there is no arithmetic operation to be uh, executed <coughs> in the fifth cycle l4 and l3 are multiplied with each other similarly in uh, sixth cycle uh, x1 and x uh, two are added with each other. X1 is product of L1 and L2, and X2 is product of L3 and L4. So the result is A. And in the next cycle, the two products are uh, separated from each other. <coughs> so here, uh, again, these eight operation. Four and four eight. These four uh, eight operations have been executed in seven cycles. So eight divided by seven, the average is calculated. This is the average. So you can see two issue processor means can execute memory access load and store load or store. This is a load or store here. At the same time with arithmetic, one one arithmetic in one load or store, but not two arithmetic, not two load at the same time. This processor is called two issue processor. Yeah, in this example. So here the average terrorism is eight divided by seven, eight instruction in seven cycle, one point one four. So in this example, you can see the software processor so average was very high. Then this is very good. the software was better. Okay, but this hardware has low parallelism. That's just two issue in uh, two issue processor. Okay, in uh, next example we have uh, dual processors. So uh, the efficient. Uh, uh, per average uh, average version is better than 1.14 like this you can see the uh, uh, next here <coughs> uh, here we suppose the same process l1 multiplied by l2 plus l3 multiplied by l4 and l uh, and uh, minus l4 using dual processor 
system again we have the same process a is equal to l1 multiplied by l2 plus l3 multiplied by l4 and b is equal to this l1 multiplied by l2 minus this l3 multiplied by l4 <coughs> So uh, here we uh, suppose a dual processor system. So uh, here this is processor one and this is uh, processor two. Because it's dual processor, so uh, both are working in parallel. So in first cycle, uh, L1 is loaded to pay processor one and L3 is loaded to pay processor two. And second L4 and L2 are loaded. So these two are added, uh, multiplied L1 and L2 are multiplied it using processor 1 and uh, L3 and L4 are uh, multiplied using the processor 2 and both in parallel. Both processes are working in parallel, so cycle 3. And the next cycle Okay, here we have S operation. S means stored. So, stored. So, the stored operation or stored instruction is executed here to store the first product and here to store the second product. So, these two stored operations are performed in parallel. Both of the processor have stored uh, their results independently in the same cycle. So the next uh, cycle, cycle 5, okay, the processor uh, 1 data is sent to processor uh, 2 data is sent to here, processor 1 and the 1 data is sent here because both uh, have shared, have to use this data. So the next one is edit, processor 1. This data which came from uh, processor 2 is added with L1 multiplied by L2 and here the L1 and L2 came here minus the L3 and multiplied by L4 which is calculated using processor 2. So here you can see the total cycles are 6 but the number of operations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 6, 12. So 12 multiplied by 6, this is 2. So the average is 2, this is better uh, than the previous one. Okay, so in summary, we have two types of parallelism, uh, software and uh, hardware. So uh, if uh, the software programmer and the hardware designer both uh, have do the same efforts can improve the process of uh, a given system or a given uh, application. Okay, thank you so much.